Hey YouTubers, I thought I'd show you this uh, Lionel Silver Streak set that I recently acquired. And uh, never thought I'd find one. Been looking for one for 10 years. And it's a pretty cool set. I really like the 265E uh, Commodore Vanderbilt engine. Run it by real slow. I do not know the designation number of the tender for this. And uh, I saw this on a Tom McComas, McComas uh, film about uh, 10, 15 years ago and just fell in love with it and thought this has got to be the coolest Lionel set that anyone can have. And uh, I managed to get it at a price that I could afford because it needs a little work. The engine runs, but it runs pretty rough and she draws quite a few uh, amps in order to get it around the track so it definitely needs an overhaul probably new brushes or at least cleaning up the brushes and uh, everything's going to need to be cleaned inside the engine I'll check the wiring and if there's bad wires I'll replace them and uh, here comes the cool part What I should mention is the 265E locomotive, Commodore Vanderbilt locomotive, was made from 1935 to 1940. And here's my favorite part of this train, although I do love Vanderbilt engines. The two passenger cars with the vestibules one vestibule and it's 218 and a 219 and uh, the whole thing is they're both chrome these came in uh, the blue I think they were called the blue streak and they were white and chrome they came in white and gunmetal but on this particular uh, set they were all chrome, to the best of my knowledge. And the back of it looks like a Zephyr. As you can see. So, I'll run around the track once or twice. I don't want to run it too much before I overhaul it. And I haven't got the lights working in it yet. And I'm sure I've got several hours of work to do on this but it's nice to receive something when somebody says it's working and find out it really is working I think the uh, tender is probably a repaint or someone took awfully darn good care of it because it certainly um, is a lot shinier than the locomotive which I would prefer they both look the same <laughs> but Beggars can't be choosers. So let's start it out. Move the picture back. Watch her go around the track. And then I will do a follow up after the overhaul. And we'll do a good run on her. That's neutral. Obviously reverse, neutral again, and forward.
and I hear dirty brushes. I bet they're all up in. Anyway, I guess to my next to my hoagie and my uh, my hoagie 900 bullet nose and my uh, American Flyer uh, the Comet. These this will be one of my favorite trains. It's just absolutely outstanding and really uh, retro looking. And I guess I should have mentioned the. Uh, Two trailing cars are a 619 up front and a 618 behind, and they were made from 1935 to 1941, and they're in really good condition. Usually you find these all rusted out and pitted. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and wish me luck on the overhaul and the work. And once again, this has been a Big Lizard production. Bye-bye.